you're given area and since area is pi r squared you're going to plug in 700 for a so 700 equals pi r squared and you divide both sides by pi so that you can get the r squared by itself and the 700 over pi we have one more operation to do to both sides and that is to square root because that gets the r squared down to being r so square root of 700 over pi is what we have for r but don't evaluate that yet like we said before you have to go in and use the circumference formula now because that's what you're finding you're finding c circumference so it's circumference equals 2 pi, and where you see the r, dump in the square root of 700 over pi. So a quick review is that we started with area. Here's the formula for area. And we put the 700 in place of the a, divided both sides by pi. They cancel out. You need the square root of both sides to get the r by itself and this is the expression for radius and we're plugging that into the circumference formula there here it is and in your calculator you need to do the following first you need second x squared hit the second x squared button to get square root and then 700 divide pi right hand parenthesis and you'll come out with uh, 14 and some change but you're not finished yet remember that is simply the value of this part you still have to multiply by 2 pi now and when you do that you get a circumference of 93.8 this case has the area given first remember area is pi r squared so plug in the 450 for a and then divide both sides by pi the pi's cancel out on the right and you're left with 450 equals r squared but to get the r by itself without a square symbol you need to find the square root of both sides and that should be 450 over pi, I just didn't write the pi. So you'll have r by itself, and it'll be equal to the square root of 450 over pi. Now look at what you're solving for. You're solving for the diameter, and the rule that we agreed to a couple of days ago was, if that's the case, you go ahead and, and solve for r by doing the square root of 450 divided by pi and it comes out to be 11.96826841 and that rounds to a even 12 when you round to the tenths place so round first here so that when you go to find the diameter you just multiply by 2 diameter is 2r so the answer would be 24 for the diameter you're given the area so it should be 252.3 equal to pi r squared and divide both sides by pi to eliminate the pi's on the right and be left with r squared on the left it's 252.3 over pi you need the square root of both sides to get r by itself and we'll go ahead and leave this the way it is square root of 252.3 over pi the formula for circumference, which is what you're finding, is c equals 2 pi r. So c equals 2 pi times what we just found, which is the square root of 252.3 over pi. In the calculator, you can do second x squared 252.3 divided by pi comes out to be 8 and some change but leave that in the calculator and multiply it by 2 pi you should get an answer for circumference of 
on this problem you're given the area so you need nine actually a red marker first 963.25 equals pi r squared and divide both sides by pi so that the pi's will cancel out on the right and you're left with 963.25 over pi on the left but now you need the square root of both sides so let's leave that square root of 963.25 over pi the way it is now but notice that you have D for diameter. So we need to go ahead and figure out what that uh, expression is. So the square root of 963.25 divided by pi is going to be 17.51, but that rounds to 17.5. From there, you have to multiply it by 2. Now, some of you have left it in the calculator and not rounded, and then multiplied by 2. Remember, the rule that we set was you round here, then multiply by 2. And in this case, we will come up with 35.